good morning everybody so we're off to a rough start it is foggy as hell and uh, ken went to fire up the old indian and uh, it won't start so he was planning on taking it because he's been having issues with it their jeep the suspension's not working so they're trying to take it to the dealership we've got the builders breakfast this morning so we're headed there everybody's going every which way hopefully we get everything accomplished that we need accomplished today and look Mama Badger looks like she's ready for the frozen tundra. It's 60 <laughs> some degrees with a little fog. Looks like she's headed to Alaska. <laughs> you ready for Alaska? I won't be complaining one bit because it's going to be nice and warm. <laughs> and we're off. All right, we are here at the Builder's Breakfast. Uh, we're at Destination Daytona under the big pavilion. The Builder's Breakfast is over there. We're gonna get checked in and see what's going on. All right, so we're in the breakfast and this breakfast is for a great cause. Um, I will put that info um, in the video description below, but it's basically getting kids on bikes because if they start on bicycles, they'll end up on motorcycles. But I believe these are probably a bunch of Southern Customs motorcycles, which is uh, Rusty Wallace and his son. But they're looking pretty sharp, aren't they? Yep, there it is. So then all the stuff on these tables are gonna be like silent auction items. So um, of course they're raising money for this charity. But let's check them out. We need to go sign something over here, so let me go find Angie, and we'll go take care of that. Who knew Rusty was a rock and roll star? <laughs> See, Rusty Wallace, the rock and roll star. On March 12th, and all you have to do is put well, your email and your <laughs> iPad, not your phone. So guys, if the Wallaces started a rock band, what would it be called? Uh, and we'll pull that no, we'll pull that name on. Everybody's decently manicured. I'll be I'll be there. I want to make sure everybody gets together first. Oh, I used your line just a minute ago. The world famous Michael Lichter here with us. Give it up for him, man. We're gonna come out this way, Ann. vendors now down here at uh, Destination Daytona and uh, one of the vendors uh, we met her on the ship the cruise ship last year she's part of support bikers it's called rock star studio is Angie saying hi but they've got shirts check out these knives you know me I'm a knife guy we got some really cool knives look at that that's pretty cool look at that and then they got uh, hats, and then uh, jewelry. We got some Indian jewelry here. Look at that, you can see my 
my reflection. Hi guys. He does a daily vlog. I don't know if you do that or not, but every single day he's doing a video. Which is everybody's doing right now. So he's Say hi ladies. Hi there. Hi. Come check him out. Rockstar Studio, just down from Saints and Sinners, right sale. next to Rick Rack. Big sale. 40% Where else can you find him? Big, sale. big sale. 40% off while we're here in Daytona. Forty percent off. Come get it. How else can they find her? On supportbikers.com. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> go check them out. And we're not going to be back on the cruise. big things you do um, at these rallies is come and get work done on your bikes so all the big vendors you can see Ciro's down there at the end got SBC performance here um, all the vendors are here to put whatever you need on your bike as a matter of fact our friends from Michigan the shines are actually getting rear crash bars and front crash bars put on their bikes um, and uh, Ken has his Indian over at Zero 3D and they're gonna put lights on it. He had to buy the lights and bring them and this is the first lights they've done on an Indian at a show and uh, someone was watching my video yesterday and he said I was watching your video till you started bashing Indian. Look guys I was not bashing Indian. If you come to these events they will not work on Indians. So he's trying to get tires. They're like, we won't do Indian tires here. You have to take it to our shop, but not on location. Um, they won't do any additional work on them. Um, and I don't know why that is. Whether they're just not familiar with them, whether there's too much stuff to take off and put on, I don't know. But I'm just, I'm relaying the news. And the news is if you're planning on coming to the rally with your Indian motorcycle and get stuff done, um, a lot of the vendors will not do anything. So just a heads up so that you guys know that's not a bash, that's just the truth. But anyway, um, so there's all kinds of vendors here. Of course, there's clothing, there's shirts, but all kinds of different bike parts. You can see all the new bike parts. You can have them installed while you're here, the whole nine yards. And that's what a lot of people come to these rallies for. All right, so our buddy Ken with the Indian, they didn't have his lights here, so he brought his own lights. But they did say at the rally that they would take care of his bike. So they have it up on the rack now. But they also said this is the first one they've done. So they said, give us at least two hours. We don't know how long it'll take. I think we're gonna go get some food and let them do their magic. All right, we're headed to the racetrack. We're by the Iron Horse right now. Traffic is ridiculous. We're barely moving. Gotta expect that if you come here. So we were coming down one of these back roads and there was an old guy on a bike parked alongside the road But there's no place to park alongside the road. So he was literally like in the road So we pulled off to help him push it out of the way And, and I didn't get the camera to record because I was directing traffic. He was in a bad spot So Angie went and stood out in traffic to get everybody over away from him. His rear brake locked up so um, I was getting my tool so that he could release the pressure off his brake and we could roll him out of there and uh, whoever he was riding with showed up with a wrench. So we did get him off of the road. Now we're here. Yay! <laughs> There's their crew. So now we're gonna check out what's going on here at the, at the racetrack. Lots of vendors, guys. I mean, lots and lots of bikes and vendors. More than usual. All the way around. And then there's like, there's like three rows of 
vendors from here. So plenty to look at here at the racetrack. I think they finally recovered the free COVID stuff. Check this out. Ready to get out. <laughs> Love seeing all the animals out riding. Sometimes you're just sitting in Daytona and random people like show up from New Jersey. <laughs> Look at that! Half of Baggers and Brewers is in the house. All right, guys. So we're hanging out here at Destination Daytona, and we found company. Yay! Love it! All the way from Texas. <laughs> all my exes are there. They just came from the Keys. So all the way to the Keys and then back up to Daytona, and we ran into them. How cool is that? All right, it is foggy. Super foggy tonight. Um, like my pant legs are wet, and that's from fog. No rain, just, just fog. Um, but we're here at Off the Hook um, at the end of the harbor and uh, we're gonna eat some dinner and then uh, everybody's talking about going to Hairball to tonight. I'm talking about maybe going back to the condo, doing this video and then going to bed because I have not been to bed before one o'clock in the past three or four days and I'm just wore the hell out. I'm old. This is my 50th anniversary this year. Anyway, I'm gonna go meet my crew. We're gonna eat some food. If you're ever in this area, this is a great place to eat. All right, that is a wrap. I think all of us are just gonna call it a night. So we're back at the condo. We ate, it looked like it was snowing on the way home and it wasn't raining. It was literally just that foggy. Um, and uh, for those of you that know, you know. That's how you dry out your shoes when you're on the road. I dried mama's boots this morning. I want to dry my shoes tonight. So uh, I'll be ready to actually wear them. Anywho, another fantastic day. Tomorrow's weather is supposed to be excellent. I don't know what adventure we got, except I know at 9 a.m. we're going to be at the racetrack because Chris is getting some new lights in his road glide. So we'll do that. And then uh, who knows where it goes from there. But uh, hang out and see. And we'll see you tomorrow.